Hi video fans, John Fry here with our Umatic low band Umatic tape machine. It takes these sort of tapes and the slightly bigger ones and basically I want to see if it records well and what sort of picture quality you have out of it compared to you know what is this an FS700 quite modern you know it's 10 years old now but it's a modern enough HD and 4k camcorder. We are going to plug this, uh, well, I've got it all set up here. We have plugged this FS700 Sony. It comes out SDI, standard def SDI. It's going to record HD in the camera, but send out standard definition SDI into this Miranda DV conversion box, which then converts the signal down to composite uh, video, which goes into the Umatic deck. I know it's a bit complicated, um, but, you know, I wanted to see if the converter box worked and the output from the 700 and this machine. So what we're seeing on this monitor here is the output from the Umatic. So we know that the pictures are going in. We've got good level on the monitor there. So we know that audio is going in and it's the audio from that microphone. I'm going to put the tape in. I've not done this. This is the first time I've loaded a tape into this machine since I've had it here. So it might not work at all. This is just, just purely for fun. And now we're going to have the HD recording here to compare what you're seeing to the standard definition recording, albeit professional, the standard definition recording on this machine. So let's hit record and see what happens. I think it's just a question. I think record like that. There's nothing going on as far as I can tell. Reset. Now, do you have to press record and play? Yes, you do. There we go. Oh, and now that appears to be working. So hopefully, Mr. Umatic, you are getting this picture HD, down convert. well, technically it's a 4K chip in this camera, down converted to standard definition SDI into that box, converted again to composite, composite video into you. And this is the recording from the Umatic machine. So as a comparison then, now that's running, this is the HD from the FS700, which let's remember is a 4K chip, dang converted to HD for this recording purposes. It's going via this box to standard definition and composite into the Umatic, and this is the Umatic picture. Now, what you might see is, uh, obviously there's a huge change in resolution between HD and standard definition. Um, also, we're recording analog video, composite analog video onto an analog tape in an analog machine. So the HD here on the FS700 is recording digitally to solid state card, no tape, no analog processing, it's just digital, all digital HD video. And that's being converted into uh, all standard definition analog. And that's what's going on to the tape now. So I'm using it up here. Um, you know, it's my only working pneumatic low band tape. So hopefully it's working. And if we cut back to the pneumatic, you can see that obviously there's a huge resolution difference between the HD and the standard def. But hopefully that's the main difference. In terms of the actual picture quality in uh, from you know what is being recorded and how it's recorded actually shouldn't be a huge amount of difference because this was a professional unit this is a professional tape deck used in TV uh, studios around the world this is one of the first commercial tape cassette broadcast uh, uh, machines um, available ever before then they did have an odd sort of cassette um, idea for, for much wider tape, but Umatic was the first really popular cassette based analog tape professional video format in the world. And so there's lots of these machines about, but well, there used to be lots of these machines about, people bin them these days. So I thought it would be useful just to have a look and see what the actual picture quality was like, um, recorded, albeit down converted from an HD source and see what the picture's like. So um, yeah, you'll have to have to let me know. Um, on my little monitor here, it looks um, looks all right, actually. The color's good and everything from that camera, and even going through the deck, yeah, it looks okay. So you'll have to tell me between the HD here, 
beautiful HD stellar Sony uh, FS700 pictures to the standard definition analog recorded U-Matic tape machine. So you can make your own judgment there, but I think it's kind of interesting. It is the first time I've put a tape in here and recorded it, so I'm just as interested as you are to see what the results are like. Um, have a comment below if you've used these machines, what you think about the picture quality compared to new stuff. Um, obviously, it's standard definition compared to uh, a high def or 4K. That's not what we're comparing here. We're re actually comparing what's recorded on the tape from a from a purely analog source, from a standard definition source, how it actually looks when recorded to tape and played back, which I'll do in a minute, play it onto my capture desk over there, which is all analog stuff that I, I, I do a bit of uh, video copying of ancient formats. So this is just one other thing that's uh, come into my hands that will help me copy people's old videos. <laughs> so there we are, that is Low Band U-Matic, uh, the first really popular commercial cassette-based analog tape format for broadcast and professional use. So I better stop the tape now, which hopefully is just a, a question of pressing stop. Tape stopped. Rewind. Let's see if it actually plays back and then I'll capture it properly via a you know, Firewire digital process uh, so you get as good quality as you can off this tape to see what it actually looks like. So that's recorded a couple of minutes. Let's hit play and see if it plays back on our monitor up here. Oh, hey, there we go. There he is. So I can see me on the monitor. I'm there. It's recorded onto the tape, hopefully with audio as well because I'm seeing the level meters on here. Um, but I'm not monitoring it, so hopefully it's still working. Um, and yeah, we'll see what it looks like. Ha ha! God, there is something nice about pressing big buttons and hearing stuff working. <laughs> so there we go, well that's rewinding. Just say goodbye. And uh, if you want to leave a comment below if you've used these machines, if you're interested in, in, in the, these as an evolution of the, the process of recording video, um, or you know, if you have any opinions on what the pitch quality is like, do give us a, give, give us a message. And um, if you have any old tapes to copy, send them my way. <laughs>